Hi guys, welcome back. This is Erin from Paint Those Piggies and today I have my very first nail video in quite some time. And if you are following me from my old channel, which was the same channel, Paint Those Piggies, I did a bunch of nail videos and then I kind of needed a break from them. I went through a job transition, I went from one job to a completely different profession and I had a lot of life changes in that amount of time. And between that time, it's probably been about a year and a half, I went through a lot of different things in my life. I've switched jobs. I now work for the post office and I have a very low stress kind of job which I think is what I really needed. I had a high stress job before so my job has changed and in that time I kind of let polish go on the back burner and I know that was disappointing to some people but I hope you guys forgive me for that because during that time I never fell out of love with polish. I always have my fingernails polished and I just needed some time to take a break. So in the past few months, I've actually had a couple other changes in my life. A lot of things have happened recently and there is something that sparked my love of nails and videos again. So in August, I had LASIK. That was my first big change and that doesn't have anything to do with nail polish, but I did get LASIK. It was successful. And the second thing actually happened yesterday, which was September. 18th Monday I transferred to a different post office branch so what it means for me is less stress from worrying about my hours because now I'm gonna have set hours it also means I'm going to have less stress in my life just due to you know some things that I'm not really gonna go into but a lot has changed in the past like couple of days. I just feel like a weight has been lifted off of me and I'm going to be really happy where I am now. So that is where this has sparked from. Like now that I feel so much less stress in my life, I feel like I can focus on what I really love, which is nail polish. So this is my first video back. It is going to be my 10 fall nail polish recommendations. I have a notebook filled with nail ideas of videos that I want to do. I've already set aside my top 10 Zoyas. I actually was ready to go to bed last night and then I just started grabbing Zoyas off my wall shelves. So that will probably be the next video that goes up. I know everybody wants to see my nail polish collection. I did de-stash maybe like 800 nail polishes so my collection is much much smaller I just I don't know why I did it I just wasn't using so many nail polishes and so I actually had one person buy all of them I still have more to de-stash but at this point I'm going through them like no I'm gonna take this one back I'm gonna take this one back I like this one I'm gonna take it back so not as strict as I was before but my nail polish collection is a lot smaller. So I wanted to go into my top 10 fall recommendations, even though it is 90 degrees here this week, but we're gonna ignore that. I'm actually wearing like a really dark polish because I don't care about polish rules. This, um, in case you're wondering, is OPI's I Carol About You. It is a winter holiday collection polish, but I wanted something purple and something metallic, so I went for this. So let's get right into the video. I know that was a super long intro, but I know that was a super long intro, but I just wanted to explain things. So let's get to the polish. So I'm just going to go in random order. And to be honest, a lot of these are OPI. If you followed me before, I did have a blog and I did have a polish channel. I am an OPI lover. Like it is the first brand of high-end nail polish. Well, you know, more mainstream, like not drugstore polish that I ever was gifted really. And I had about like four or five OPIs that my mom gave me for Christmas and I just clung on to those. I might actually do a video on like how my polish addiction started with those polishes and feature those if you guys want to see that. But you'll notice a lot of these are OPI. Most of my collections OPI. So I can't apologize. OPI is my, you know, OPI is my brand. So the first one is a relatively new polish. I haven't, I didn't keep up with the collections last year, but starting this year, I have been keeping up with some of the collections. I bought about half of the OPI Nordic collection, which is the new fall winter 
collection from OPI so if you want to see you know the ones I bought from that I can do that but this one is actually a summer polish and this is from the California Dreaming collection it is OPI's Feeling Frisco and I specifically picked this one because it's a nude polish, but it's a little bit warmer of a nude polish. I'll insert swatches of all these polishes, but I love nude nails for any time of the season, but I picked a warmer nude just because autumn reminds me of, you know, warmer, like warm colors, warm leaves, and this one leans nude. It's pretty light, but it has a good formula for a nude. So it's two coats, really easy to apply, and I just picked it for the kind of more warmer undertones in it. So that again is OPI's Feeling Frisco. Next up is like a hardcore OPI classic for me. This bottle has gotten a lot of use and this is OPI's Peace and Love and OPI and I think it's one of their coolest polishes. I wear it all the time, you know, for different reasons, but it's really like kind of more of a medium, I would guess I would describe it as like a medium gray, purple, teal, like multi-chrome polish and it's it kind of looks great in the bottle right now but it does shift to different colors actually behind me it looks green right now but I just think this is like the quintessential oil slick polish and I think it looks so cool everybody see in this job I work with customers all the time since I'm up at the front and everybody always wants to know what nail polish I'm wearing and so this polish gets a lot of comments from people because they can't understand like the shifting colors and they've never seen it before but this polish I wear it all the time I love it so much And that is OPI's Peace and Love and OPI. It's good on two coats, easy formula. Now next up is not a polish for everyone and I'm very well aware of that fact. I've only recently been getting into oranges. I've liked a few oranges before, but, but once I realized that I have a warmer kind of neutral undertone to my skin is when I really started getting into warmer polishes. And this one I actually was going to de-stash, but then I kept thinking about it in my mind and so I grabbed it back. <laughs> and this is OPI's A Roll in the Hague. This I believe is from the Holland collection and it is a vibrant warm orange. I mean on my camera right now it looks crazy but this is a really really deep orange vibrant orange and so if you're not an orange lover you're not gonna like this but one of my favorite oranges is OPI's Atomic Orange and I've kind of considered this like the fall version of that. It's very bright but it also like has a little bit of depth to it, a little bit of red in it, and is very much like a warm red. So that again is a roll in the Hague. And I'm just obsessed with these oranges right now. There were a couple in the California Dreaming collection. Love those two. Next to mix it up, we'll throw in an Essie because you're like, are these all OPIs? most of them are. This one really is a classic for me. This is Essie's Penny Talk. I've had this one forever and I've used it a bunch, but this is really like a metallic rose gold polish <laughs> and it is a little bit streaky. So if you don't like brush strokes on your nails, you won't love this polish, but this is such a good metallic polish. It never has gone out of style from when it came out. I don't remember how old this is, but it's at least a few years old. I can actually see the line where I have used it down to, which is pretty, that's a lot for me <laughs> considering how many nail polishes I have, but Essie's Penny Talk is a really good one. It's also really good for nail art. If you're into stamping, it stamps really well, and it also dries pretty quickly, so that's also a good feature of Penny Talk. Next up we'll do some greens because I just find fall is the perfect time to wear like deeper greens, hunter greens. I'm going to start with one that I've talked about before. It was limited edition but it's one of my top 10 OPI polishes because I think it's really cool and it's like if there was a polish for fall 
I think of this polish and this is OPI's Green on the Runway. It is from the OPI Coca-Cola collection, but this polish is so unique. It's I consider it a multi-chrome as well. It looks green in the bottle. It does flash red, gold, even kind of like a coppery bronze at some points. You can see in the picture that I took in it, if you look towards the bottom of the bottle, you can see the multi-chrome colors in it, the orange, the gold, the red, and I just think this polish is so darn cool. I love it. It's one of my favorites, and that again is green on the runway. And the other green, which I discovered, I want to say towards the end of last year, came from the Washington DC collection. The more I look at that collection, the more I was like, dang, I should have been following polishes to get them. I actually ordered, I think maybe three from them just recently. I do plan on doing a polish haul because I kind of ordered some, some from the Nordic collection, some from the old Washington DC collection, and a bunch of other things. So I do plan on doing a haul, but this one for, is from Washington DC collection. This is OPI's Susie the First Lady of Nails. And there's something about this polish that I love. I've had OPI's Uh-Oh roll down the window and I didn't really care for it. It was just, I don't know if it was the name or I don't think the color was rich enough, but this one is like a warm hunter green. It doesn't lean neutral, it doesn't lean cool. It's definitely got a yellower base to it, so it leans warmer and I think that's what I like about it. It reminds me more of nature than other green polishes, especially like pine trees, pine needles, and I am just obsessed with this color. This is actually one of the bottles that I just ordered from online. So this is a brand new bottle, but I have worn it before. It's got a gorgeous formula and I just, I love this green color. And that is Susie, the first lady of nails. So I guess I am forgetting one polish before I forget to mention it completely. I don't have a bottle of it right now. My husband is actually picking up a bottle of it from, my husband is actually picking up a bottle of it for me this afternoon, but I'm in between work shifts, so this is when I can film. But that is OPI Less is Norse, and it is from the new Nordic collection. It is such a cool polish. To me, it's like, a muted like dusty denim color and I actually had denim on the day that I wore it like a dark denim wash and it looked exactly like it so I think I have multiple pictures I think the one I'm going to insert is the one with the denim in the background so you can kind of see how they work together this is one of the glossiest polishes I've ever seen. I actually got my nails done with it and the lady was like is that a gel polish? Even without top coat, it is amazingly glossy. And it's not a color that you see very often. It is the hero shade of the OPI Nordic collection. It's the one they want you to focus on, but it is for good reason because it is stunning. It's got a great formula in two coats. It is a cream, but just that like dusty denim, I think it's awesome. It's, it's pretty unique in my collection. So I don't have a bottle, but I will insert a nail swatch for you. Okay, I've got three left. I'm going to do the one Essie and then I'll finish with the two reds. This one is Essie's Merino Cool and I have like an itty bitty mini baby size bottle, but this was actually one of the first polishes I ever owned that was not a drugstore polish. I had a few OPIs that I was gifted and then for some reason I ended up with a mini set of the polishes in this collection and I believe they were Little Brown Dress, So Psyched, Angora Cardi, and Merino Cool. And I still have all those polishes. I love all those polishes. I need to look into getting a full-size bottle of this because this is about, I don't know, a third of the way used up. But Merino Cool is really like an interesting polish. I consider it a gray, but it also has a touch of like taupe and purple in it. It's one of those colors that's kind of hard to describe because it probably looks different to most people. Like on camera right now it looks more purple to me, but when I wear it on my nails it looks kind of like a gray taupe. But you can definitely tell there are other 
different colors in the base of this polish. It is a cream. It applies in two coats. It's fantastic, even in this mini um, bottle formula, but I just love it. It's actually pretty sentimental to me because I wore this polish in our engagement photos and I didn't realize it at the time, but later I look back and think, yeah, this was only, this was one of the only polishes that I had. So I wore this, it was gorgeous. We had our photo shoot in the fall and it looked great with everything. So I think this is a great fall neutral. It's a little bit deeper than just a nude and it's probably, I could see this being beautiful on everybody. So that again is Essie's Merino Cool. So last up, I have two different reds. I'm going to finish with one of my favorite reds, which if you followed me before, you know that I am not a red polish lover. Although I did find one recently that I'm obsessed with, but I never wear red nails. And so this first one is OPI's I Need Sourdough, and this is from the San Francisco collection. This is an oldie. It's a couple years old at this point but I still love this color. It's almost hard to describe. It's like, kind of like a, it's kind of like a mauve red base, but it has red shimmer in it that kind of looks pink, but in some lights, it also kind of <laughs> looks brown. Like, I know that's a terrible way to describe a polish, but you really just have to see it in the swatch. It's definitely a unique color. Not everyone will love it, I think that I'm just drawn to more weird colors, to be honest. I always paint my nails different colors, unique colors, ugly, pretty colors, and this one is definitely unique to me. I just love kind of like that pinky, mauve shimmer in it, really adds something special to it. So again, that is OPI's I Need Sourdough. And last up is a red polish. If you followed me before, you definitely know that this one has come up in videos before. And this is OPI's Lost on Lombard. There's something about this polish that I think it's just universally stunning. Like I've worn it glossy, I've worn it matte, I've worn it with nail art, I've worn it in so many different ways and there's not a way that it isn't stunning. I would describe it as a maroon red. I sort of think of it as a brick red but not as orange as a brick red is. I don't know if that makes sense but that's what the color is to me. It is just a gorgeous maroon red. I consider it a neutral red and I just think it's stunning. It's one of the reds that I will actually pull out and wear which is very rare but I love it I don't know I can't tell how much I've used of this bottle but it's definitely a lot because I wear it all the time I don't know how many times I've worn it but it is a lot it is from the San Francisco collection I just love it I think it's stunning and I think this polish would really look good on all type of skin tones because it's neutral enough that it doesn't lean like warm or cool. It's like pretty much in the middle. So again, that is OPI's Lost on Lombard. So that is it for my fall 2017 nail polish picks. I know there's not too many new polishes or pretty much any new polishes at all, but, but what I was really aiming for was kind of categories of polishes like deep hunter greens, maroon reds, metallics, deeper nudes are kind of the things that I wear in the fall. So don't necessarily have to look for exactly those polishes, but just kind of those same tones and hues of damp polish. So if you have a favorite fall nail polish, please leave me a comment down below. I love to hear what you guys love, what kind of nail polishes you guys like and wear all the time. So I appreciate you guys for watching and I will be back soon with either probably a haul first and then my top 10 Soyas. So I look forward to filming that and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks. Bye.